Out of a small town in South Arkansas, Traylon Burks has quickly become one of the best wideouts in a pretty loaded draft class. So let's talk about it. He's going to go that way and got it complete to Burks. Burks on the run. Traylon was born in the little old town of Warren, Arkansas, as he grew up looking to do his thing out wide. At Warren High, his talent was on full display as my man was on timing from the very beginning. His over 3,400 yards and 43 touchdowns were impressive enough, but even crazier considering that he missed most of his senior season with the torn ACL. Even though he was coming off a major setback in his last year at Warren High, Traylon was nonetheless a four-star, with interest from schools like Florida State, Clemson, and Arkansas. Although many would take the opportunity to head elsewhere, Traylon decided to stay close to home as he decided to become a Razorback. Going into his first year with the team, since he was one of the top recruits in his class, Traylon was able to get some action early on. Nearly 500 yards in his first season with the Razorbacks was pretty dang impressive, but only the beginning of what he had in store. An SEC all-freshman team nod was not a bad start, but his over 800 yards and 7 touchdowns as a sophomore were able to take him to that next level. Not only did he just have over 800 yards in only his second season, but upon that only 8 games due to a certain virus. Nonetheless, going into his third year, Traylon had a bit of hype surrounding what was looking to be his best season to date. I mean, I would say over 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns prove that, and way more, as he established himself as one of the best wide receivers in the SEC. Considering that he was first team all-conference, I guess he really was. And upon that, my man was able to make a name for himself on a pretty decent Arkansas squad. Since Traylon had left it all out on the field throughout his three years with the Razorbacks, it was not much of a surprise that he declared for the NFL draft following his best season to date, as he had quickly become one of the biggest wide receiver prospects in the whole thing. Considering how well Traylon played against some of the most talented defenses in college football, I would say that he brings a lot to the table in a decently deep receiver class. At around 6'2", 225, Traylon has a size, athleticism, and it seems like everything under the sun to be able to produce on the next level. But even crazier than his physical attributes are his ridiculously big hands. Not just 2 or 3XL, but 5, as he can practically catch anything thrown at him. Kind of like how Dr. J could palm a basketball and do a bunch of fancy moves with it. Traylon can make all these crazy catches that give him quite a big advantage going into a league full of receiver talent. Recently, NFL scouts have been made aware of this unique ability, as they have talked about how he can high point passes as if he's thrown a jump ball, which none of them have really even seen before. Not only can he just catch the football pretty dang well, but he can take the top off of defenses, has great body control, and unbelievable hand-eye coordination. And you get the point. He's really good. Former Arkansas Q, Clint Storner, also commented about how watching Traylon reminds him of how it was like to watch Reggie Bush do his thing. Pretty high praise for someone who is not even the biggest prospect at his position, but one that his play on the football field backs up time and time again. All this talk about Traylon's unique talent is one thing, but a certain hobby of his is that much more impressive. My man hunts hawks, and does it with only gloves, a knife, and his hunting dogs. I don't know if there's anything more Arkansas than hunting hogs like it's a common thing to do, but considering his abnormally large hands, he's probably an even better hog hunter than wide receiver. The fact that he's talked about having a game plan before going out to hunt those piggies should be enough to prove that he takes it seriously, and upon that has a type of grit that is very tough to find in these times. I mean, who wouldn't want a hog hunting Hercules to be a corner piece of their franchise? I honestly have no idea. Anyways, considering the fact that numerous teams with picks around the mid to late first round seem pretty interested in him, I would say that Traylon has caught the football world by storm, and I think my man deserves all the praise that he can get. Traylon Burks is a hog hunting Hercules that has the potential to do his thing on the next level. So just sit back and watch the show. Opportunity right here. Looking his way, Traylon Burks, separation, Bing. Burks has it! Look out for Traylon Burks! Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below what stuff you want next. But anyway, see you all soon, and peace out.